Making your own gnocchi is easier than you might think and there's no special ingredients or equipment needed to make these lovely soft fluffy pillows. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. A few weeks ago, I shared a recipe with you to show you how to turn shop-bought gnocchi into something really special. And when I posted that video, so many of you asked how to make gnocchi yourself. So here we go, let's get cooking. We're gonna start by adding 300 grams, which is about one and a third cups of cold, dry mashed potato into a bowl or a stand mixer. We had a roast dinner yesterday, so I made sure to make a little bit of extra mashed potato just for this. Now we're also going to add in 120 grams, which is about a cup of plain all-purpose flour. Along with an egg. A good pinch of salt and pepper. And a teaspoon of olive oil. Now I know I said no fancy equipment needed and I'm using my stand mixer, but you can genuinely do this in a bowl by hand. But I've got this sat here, so I'm gonna use it. Now we just need to mix that for a few seconds until it all comes together. And you want to use just enough flour so that your dough isn't sticky. If you use too much flour, then the gnocchi will be gluey. And if you don't use enough flour, then the gnocchi will fall apart whilst it's cooking. So you might need to adjust the amount of flour that you use depending on how moist your mashed potato is. Sprinkle your work surface with a little flour. Then tip out the dough and divide into four equal balls. We're gonna roll each ball into a sausage shape. chop it into two centimetre pieces with a knife. Don't worry if some are a little bit bigger than the others. We're going with the homemade rustic look here. Now a little trick to get that signature gnocchi look is to roll the gnocchi down the back of a fork gently. Keep doing that until you've got all the gnocchi made. Now to cook the gnocchi, you want to place them in a large pan of boiling water for about two to three minutes until they float to the top of the pan. I tend to do this amount in about two or three batches. Then remove the gnocchi with a slotted spoon and serve as you want. And that's it, it all comes together in about 30 minutes. And you can use this gnocchi to make my really tasty gnocchi with chorizo and creamy harissa sauce. Or tune in next week where I'm gonna be showing you how to make gnocchi in a brown butter and sage sauce. See you next time.